Praise the Lord. There's a lot of things going on in this world today. <clears throat> We've had the Pope inaugurated, went through the, his ceremony. Many nations of the world gathered there to see this. Even those from Israel come. We see um, the president is going to go over to Israel and talk with them. We had the vice president going to uh, the Vatican to speak to the Pope. The first time that both the president and the, the vice president have been out of the country at the same time. Very poignant and unique people. But this morning as I was uh, praying and uh, talking to Tina with some of the things that she's going through, we're all going through stuff. We all are. I am. She is. We're all being purified. We're being cleansed and it's sometimes it's hard. But we are being prepared for what is coming. And as I was led to read in Revelations, <clears throat> chapter 13. Now, we have to understand that uh, during 12, we see that Satan and his angels get into a war with with. Uh, Michael and Michael kicks them out and they come to earth so in chapter 13 here we go and I stood upon the sand of the sea and I saw a great beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads meaning that this wasn't just one one this is a beast that is made of a multiple, multiple kingdoms, nations. Having seven heads, ten horns, and upon the horns, ten crowns, and upon the head, the ten name a blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. Okay. <clears throat> Well, let's go over here to Daniel, chapter 7, verse 6. It says, After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings, four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and, and domination was given to it. So as I was studying about the leopard and the countries that have the leopard as its symbol of, it, of its country today, Germany uniquely has a symbol of, its, of the leopard for its country. Also, many Islam countries like the Middle East, Africa and parts of Asia also have the leopard as the symbol of their countries. Okay, let's go on. And his feet were like the feet of a bear. Okay, go back to Daniel. Verse, I mean, chapter 7, verse 5. And behold, another beast is a second like to a bear and it rose up itself on one side and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it and they said this unto it arise devour much flesh well we know definitely that the bear represents Russia and it has a ravenous appetite of overtaking land and getting involved in, in countries and arming them 
that even the Middle East, uh, the things that's going on there, they support Islam countries like Iran and like Syria. Russia support these people and, and they supply them armament. Okay, the next one, his mouth was like the mouth of a lion. Okay, let's go back over here to Daniel 7 and chapter 4. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. And I beheld till the wings of thereof were plucked and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man and a man's heart was given to it. Okay, when you look at the countries that have the lion as their symbol, you will find England will come to mind first. But also there's countries in Africa that has it. Norway, Scotland, uh, you know, all the European, the European, Asia, Africa, even ancient Egypt, and Mesopotamia had the lion as their symbol of their country. And the dragon gave his power in his seat and great authority to, to this beast. Well, we know what the dragon is. That's Satan because he's been kicked out. At this time, he's been kicked out of heaven and he's on earth. And he's, he, he's raging. He's angry and it says and I saw one of his head as it was were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and the world wondered after the beast well the wounded one Babylon Iran is told was Iraq I mean were Babylon the nation of Babylon the country of Babylon originated Nebuchadnezzar. It become totally destroyed. And it is going to rise again. But let me tell you another country that had been destroyed, and that's Germany because of Hitler. They took away Germany's power and divided it. That's why there was a wall down the middle of Germany until here in recent years. And now the wall has been torn down. <clears throat> but, and it's coming back to life in a unique way. And it's going to be part of this beast. So this beast, I truly believe, is going to be made out of countries of the Middle East that has Islam in it because the leopard is represents Germany, Islam, the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Asia is going to be involved in, in this group to make up this one beast. And then we see the lion, which is Africa again, England, Scotland, Nor Norway, Asia, Africa, Egypt and the Mesopotamia part that's right over there in Iran and Iraq all in there is the Mesopotamia area they're, they're going to all be in in a group that will form a cohesion government out of this group out of these nations that will rise up We try to put it into one man. Yes, there is going to be a group ahead that is coming together and they will point. And it could be the Mafidi that that uh, Iran and them are looking for to come soon. And to point them as ahead. But it's been pretty well proven that 
our president was not born in Hawaii, that he was born in Kenya. So what does that mean if he is born in Kenya, really, instead of Hawaii? Africa is going to be part of this cohesion of this one beast that will rise up out of the sea. And they are going to worship Satan that comes down on to earth. And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast saying, Who is like unto the beast who is able to make war with him? Well, this is going to be a mighty nation that is coming up that is going to go to war. A war is coming overseas, over there, in the Middle East. It's going to involve Germany, Russia, England, Scotland, uh, you know, all the European countries in Asia and Africa and Egypt and Mesopotamia. It's all going to be in there and it, it, this war is going to happen. And we know that Judah represented by a lion also. So she's going to be in the midst of all of this mess. She's already over there. She's going to be in the midst of all of this mess. Why? Because Judah is going to turn the Temple Mount over to the Vatican. Let's go on and read. There was given to him a mouth to speak great things, blasphemy, and power was given unto him to continue fury two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme in his name and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with saints, and to overcome them, and power was given him over all king, kings and tongues, kindreds and tongues and nation, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose name are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man hath an ear, let him hear, and and that he led into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth. With his sword must be killed with his sword. Here is the portion, protection, and the faith of the saints. Let's go back over here and read. Let's just read chapter 7 of Daniel. In the first year of Balzazar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and a vision of in of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matter. And Daniel spoke and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven stirred up on, up on the great sea, and four great beasts come up from the sea, diverse one from another. The first was a lion. Now we know that's Africa, England, Europe, you know, Asia, Africa, Egypt, Mesopotamia area. I beheld until the wind's wings therefore were plucked, and there was left up from heaven, and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given it. And behold, another beast, a second like to a bear, and it rose up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth, and it between the teeth of it. Thou sayest thus, it arise and devoured much flesh. Russia is going to join the lion, this group. And after this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, and the beast had also four heads. Denomination, denomination was given to it. So we see that the leopard is Germany and, and the Middle East and Africa 
in parts of Asia. Right there. These are all nations that are alive and well right now. But their powers are going to rise up together in great force. After this I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong, exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth, and he devoured and broke into pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts, and there were before it, and it had ten horns. Okay, let's go over here to Revelations chapter 4. I mean, chapter uh, 13 again, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and and cast the, cast the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, which deadly wound was healed. And he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of the man. Now, when we're talking about this one over in Revelations, we're talking about Rome. When you go over here, we're talking about the false prophet, which is now sitting on the throne in the Vatican in Rome. And he doth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceived them that dwelled on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwelled on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So he's going to call up, the Vatican is going to call up for a statue something to be built to honor Babylon and Germany. Those that were dead, that is now alive. And he gave power, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should be both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast sh should be killed. And there's great possibility that we can see, we will see that, not great possibility, we will see this happen. We will see this image arise. It will speak, and it will talk, and it will maze many people. And he ca causes all but both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand, or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark, or or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. There is wisdom. Let him that uh, that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. In other words, six, six, six. Six is the number of man. So you have three sixes here joined together as one. <coughs> Let me go on. Verse 8 is 7 of Daniel. I consider the horn and be horns. <coughs> I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them a little horn. Before them there were three of the first horns plucked up by the root, and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of men, man, and a mouth spoke great things. This will all happen. This is coming to pass right now. This will happen before the great white, before the great throne judgment. Because when you go on down on 7 verse 9, on down to 14, it totally talks about the Ancient of Days and how the thrones will be set up and how the books will be opened. This will come after this thing that is now arising. The countries that are going to be involved 
in the beast, the first that rises out of the seas, are here, alive and well. And their leaders are being taken out in position for the right leaders to be put in position for this ruling of this beast. We see that the the second beast that came from the earth has already arisen and we know him as the new pope, the prophet that will prophesy many things, even call, cause fire to come from heaven. We are in the last days, and all the players are already lined up. They're just shuffling them, and, and, and the leaders that are of, oh, the old guard has to be taken out, and the new leaders have to come about. And it's happening right now. You know, with all the disaster going on, you know, Syria shooting missiles into Lebanon, and then they're doing a chemical warfare that's on their people. And our president from Africa has already told them that if they did that, America would intervene. How? I don't know. But it's coming. World War Three is coming. The World War Three is what is going to set up the final kingdoms, the leaders of these countries coming together as a cohesive force, as like one man coming together, joining together. They won't declare themselves as separate nations. But they're going to come together as one man standing before all nations that is out there. We must understand that we have to repent and get our hearts right with God now because time is short. I know some people don't want it to be because we have children, we have cousins, we have kin, we have friends that are lost and not saved yet. But needless to say, we are on God's time clock and in His plan. We don't have time to fool around. This is no game. This is a reality check in what's going to happen soon before our very eyes. And many of us will be in great trouble because we open our mouth and speak the truth. The truth that they don't want us to speak. But Nevertheless, I will speak anyway, even if it comes with the penalty of my life. We must stand for Yeshua HaMashiach because this force is upon us. We need to remember, we, everyone talks about the seven years, when we see the temple going up and the two prophets coming in to witness and testify against this building of the temple, the way it's being built. They are going to be in trouble. Because if you go over here to verse 11, where they are, we will see that... Uh, We will see that during their prophesying and, and how they can shut up the, you know, shut up the heavens where it won't rain, fire will come out of their mouth and they will testify and they will t 
testify about these things. But the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. I believe the beast that's come up out of the pit is that Pope. Is the Pope. He has ascended from the pits of hell. And then it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, that's Jerusalem, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of uh, the people and kindreds and t uh, tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three and a half days, as long as they prophesied three and a half years, they prophesied three and a half days, their bodies will lay out there, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put to grave. And then they dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and sing gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth because they were witnessing to the truth of what was coming after this temple is built. They were saying, stop the building of the temple. Stop it now. Because this is not of God. That this temple of Solomon that's being built is going to usher in the Antichrist. It's going to usher in all of this stuff. And after the three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. And they stood up and their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them. You know, we've got TV, we've got the internet, we'll be able to see these dead bodies laying there. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake were slain of men, seven thousand, and the raiment was afflicted and gave glory to the God of heaven and the second woe is past and behold the third woe, woe cometh <clears throat> this Pope will take out these two witnesses in Jerusalem because he's going to set up his throne in the tabernacle in, in, the, in the temple that's that is being going to be built there soon. And Judah would real rejoice for it because they look for the temple to be rebuilt. They will be sucked in to this Pope with all his flattering words. And they will sign a treaty with him that will last seven years. The first three and a half, the temple will be rebuilt. The second three and a half, the Vatican will take it over. Move their, the Vatican to that temple to rule and reign. We are in the last days. And after that, Yeshua will come back to rule and reign for a thousand years. Time is speeding by. Repent. Prepare your hearts now to stand fast for Him no matter what happens around you. Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, let your blessings flow. Let your kingdom reign upon your people. Let your holy anointing flow. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen. And all men. Very pointed and unique people. But this morning, as I was uh, praying and uh, talking to Tina with some of the things that she's going through, we're all going through stuff. We all are. I am. She is. We're all being purified. We're being cleansed. And it's sometimes it's hard. But we are being prepared for what is coming. 
And as I was led to read in Revelations, <clears throat> chapter 13. Now, we have to understand that uh, during 12, we see that Satan and saw was like unto a leopard. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's go over here to Daniel chapter 7, verse 6. It says, After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings, four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and and domination was given to it. So as I was studying about the leopard and the countries that have the leopard as its symbol of, it, of its country today, Germany uniquely has a symbol of its of the leopard for its country. Also, many Islam countries like the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Asia also have the leopard as the symbol of their countries. Okay, let's go on. And his feet were like the feet of a bear. Okay, go back to Daniel. Verse I mean, chapter 7, verse 5. And behold, another beast, a, <clears throat> a second like to a bear, and it rose up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. And they said this unto it, Arise, devour his angels, get into a war with... with uh, Michael and Michael kicks them out and they come to earth so in chapter 13 here we go and I stood upon the sand of the sea and I saw a great beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads meaning that this wasn't just one one this is a beast that is made of a multiple, multiple kingdoms, nations. Having seven heads, ten horns, and upon the horns, ten crowns, and upon the head, the ten name of blasphemy. And the beast which I... Praise the Lord. There's a lot of things going on in this world today. <clears throat> We've had the Pope inaugurated, went through the, his ceremony. Many nations of the world gathered there to see this. Even those from Israel come. We see um, the president is going to go over to Israel and talk with them. We had the vice president going to uh, the Vatican to speak to the Pope. The first time that both the president and the, the vice president have been out of the country at the same time. <clears throat> 